Hey, you thought I wasn't going to talk, didn't you? You thought I was stumped. I'm not. It's September 29th, and it's a great day to be alive. Sam's been gone all day shopping for Miss Columbus. We've, where'd those pictures go? Here they are. I've got a, a deck of Miss Columbus candidates here. This is, uh, this is who's in for the big competition on Saturday. They had their uh, sleepover, their slumber party. Sam's getting so old, she's still recovering from that. You guys didn't sleep, did you? No, not at all. They that's, did not go to sleep. That's just crazy. But when you're 17, I guess you can do that. I guess. So I know how we can pick them. You know, and just pick a card. Oh, you dropped one. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I did not drop one. But, uh, you know, we've got, uh, we just shuffle them up like that. How's that? You're we back to the first one. <laughs> what? How did I do that? I thought it would be a card trick. There, there we go. I bet that's a different one. Yep. There it is. All righty. But seven very nice young lady, ladies that uh, are vying for Miss Columbus. It's coming up this Saturday, so hope, hopefully people can come by. What time is the actual event? Pageant starts at 7.30. So $7.30. Dollar admission. Dollar to get in. Sweet. It's going to be one heck of a show. Might be one heck of a show. You'll see me in a tux if, if you miss that. And me in a dress. And you in a dress, yes. Just not an everyday That's event. That's not an everyday event. But you're lovely, Sam. Well, thanks. Yeah. Uh, all righty. Today we're going to talk about periodontal disease and is it contagious. It's coming right up after birthdays. All right, we've got uh, uh, three birthdays from our patient list, at least this, today. And uh, David Bortmus, you know David? Yes. Yes, good guy. And then Ken Cook, Kenneth Cook. He's the brother of uh, the superintendent in Carl Junction. That's, that's how he found me, I think. I am so. And then we've got uh, uh, Kaylee Hemphill. Did I say it right? I think so. I think so, too. And then off Facebook, guess who? Janet. Janet Hackney. Absolutely. She's a librarian there in Carl Junction. Great librarian. I think she's still uh, with the young, 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 youngest one. That'd be fun. I think she's in the K-1 area, I think. I'm school board president, so I should know these kind of things, but sometimes I don't. But happy birthday, Janet. Always good to see you. Uh, so enjoy your day. All righty. Is periodontal disease contagious? Kinda. How's that? How's that for an answer? Good. Uh, babies don't have bacteria in their mouth of the, of the type that they have as adults. So uh, babies' mouths are uh, populated by from what the mother has when they kiss them. You know, or they they say, here, drink this, or, you know, hey, this tastes pretty good. You know, little things like that. They basically inoculate their child. It's not gross. That's how. That's just how things happen. Uh, but that's good bacteria. That's the bacteria kind of that, that uh, work, in the, work in the mouth and so forth. Um, but uh, periodontal disease, it doesn't tend to be as contagious like, you know, oh, I caught it, because you need certain uh, conditions in the mouth to, to cause that to go. Most of the bacteria that causes periodontal disease is anaerobic. Can't stand oxygen. Can't be around oxygen. It dies in oxygen. So, uh, for the most part, it's not something that's passed back and forth. However, if someone has periodontal disease, you know why it's not very contagious? Why? Because no one wants to kiss them. God, it's, it's terrible, terrible bad. <laughs> you know, the breath would stop you from here. I mean, people don't realize with periodontal disease just how... I can, I can walk in a room and I can tell you if they have periodontal disease. If someone walks in a room 10 feet away, I'll go, Whoa, who's the one with the bad gums? You know, it's just an acquired something, I guess. But, <laughs> like, wow. You know, and it, it is. But people, you know, people will chew a lot of mints or, you know, or, or chew a lot of... Somebody's still down there. She just walked by and okay. left. Someone will chew a lot of mints, uh, chew a lot of gum, you know, trying to block that. The, they think they think it's bad breath. Well, it's beyond that. It's 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 like if, uh, if you leave hamburger out and stuff gets growing in it and the smell you get, like chicken chicken bones. You know, you let the chicken bones sit out very long and it starts like, that's basically what periodontal disease is. is it's meat rot. A rotting meat. Am I grossing you out yet? Yeah, pretty much. There you go. But that's what periodontal disease is, is it's bacteria chewing away at the meat, at the gums, at the bone. And uh, so periodontal disease is bad, but I guess to answer the question is, no, not really is it contagious. 
but uh, if you don't take care of yourself, if you are prone to periodontal disease, uh, those, those anaerobic bacteria, actinomyces, things like that, they, uh, uh, they're, they're long enough that I have to see them and, and practice saying them a few times, the name of the bugs that cause that. So. But, uh, you know, if you, if you came up and, and, you know, stood around somebody with periodontal disease, you're not going to catch it. How's that? Is that a fair enough answer? Yeah. All right. So what else we got? We got a link of the day. Here's a guy out in Utah that uh, was for a charity event. I think he paid five bucks or something like that to take a swing at a at a, uh, a hole in one on a par three at a golf course. And if you just watch what happens, the, the guy's pretty darn excited. He just he, it's, it's did you watch it? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's, it's pretty cool. So if you get a chance to watch it, take a look at it, enjoy it, and we'll see you tomorrow.